Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can download the, the Excel report inside the uh, sp.net 6 application in a very simple way. So let's we first create the sp.net 6 core application. Go to the Visual Studio. Click right. Open. Create a new project. From the template, select ASP Core Web Model U Controller app, or you can either select from here. Just tap ASP. Click on this option. Next. Here you have to type the application name and give the path name. I want to keep me uh, to keep the application inside the folder I want to create my application inside this folder so select folder I want the application to be download Excel okay click next button uh, select uh, .NET uh, 6.0 the long term support version at this time I will uncheck the configure for HTTPS create now my application is created successfully just repeat me the application okay the application is uh, repeat successfully now go to the new get click right on the uh, project folder manage new get packages Now here you have to install the package. Mm. Just tap fingers 10. Click on this package. Install. Click OK. Click on I accept. Okay, the package is uh, installed successfully. Insert a uh, for application. Close the window. Rebuild the application again. Go to the home controller. Inside this controller, just create an action. Uh, give uh, download Excel sorry uh, the action uh, method name will be download Excel inside this action method you have to return uh, for this time just return simple view okay now go to the solution explorer insert the models here i will uh, give, uh, create a class let's suppose my class name will be teachers.cs give some properties to the teacher class Okay, one another property. Make this as nullable. Okay, I will give one another property like city of the teacher. 
now go to the controller again type here code like um, here you have to write the code for the excel just return return new and here you have to type excel result excel result and then here you have to write the class name uh, i created the class as teachers and then you here you have sorry you have to write in the first parameter like the the result okay and then you have to write the excel uh, sheet, uh, sheet name my sheet name will be sheet 1 and then you have to give the name to the excel so like the excel sheet name will be the excel uh, file name will be teachers report control s and no i have to import the package okay the pack the package is imported successfully now here i will just uh, create a list of a list of this uh, teacher teachers okay I no, I will add some properties properties to the teacher. Like ID will be one. Uh, the the name of the teacher will be Abid, and the teacher uh, city will be. Yeah, I have forgot here is the is equal to sign. No, I will add one another property. Okay, guys, close. Here the student ID will be two. The student name will be John. And its city will be tick source. Now let's me add one another row. It will be the final row. Here the teacher ID will be three. The teacher name will be Noor. And the teacher city will be Kirachi. Okay no here we have to return the excel result okay i am passing the result as the source it will be our sheet name it will be the teacher the teacher report will be basically the downloaded file name let's me move over the expected here i am doing a mistake yes control s now I have to go to the teacher class just give some properties or uh, these fields let's me give here a property uh, like include in report include in report and then I, after including uh, uh, in report I have uh, to give here the order ID I mean order or only order ID just uh, thing this order will be one okay 
no i have to report the wire package yes the second column order will be 2 and the third column order will be 3 control s go to the controller everything is fine here is coming no error so control s now go to the view index here i have just to give a link so let's me create a row first class let's me give a row and inside the row let's define me a column class column lg 6 and inside the, this column I have just to give an anchor tag the text will be download excel let me give here the href attribute here I have to give the url dot action okay it will be my method name and the controller will be the home controller control s go to the controller put here a debugger go to the solution explorer rebuild the application run the application okay now i have gear this button for downloading the excel just click on this button the debugger uh, is heated next so here i have just create a simple list and uh, give some rows basically you have to fetch these rows these list these data from your database if required uh, it may be any kind of data and then you have to give the result of your list uh, here as a first, first parameter you can uh, know define the sheet name and here you have to define the uh, the file name uh, of the excel so just me continue you can see that the excel, uh, the teacher's report excel file is downloaded now i will open this file double click on the file you can see that a beautiful excel report is generated uh, with a header uh, with a background color and here we can see that the teachers data is coming the first column is the id the second is the name and the third one is the city uh, that we define like in this way id name city so you can use this package uh, for the excel reporting inside your application it is a very simple tool to download excel report inside the lattice.net 6 core application goodbye this time thank you